Hey everybody, it's Joe with another print a block build video. And this time we are going to be building the Gatlin truck, which uses these really fun, cool little wheel print a block sets. It's actually two pieces. And this one, you could get this one with a 608 bearing that you embed in here, but I'm just going to use the ones that have an embedded 608 bearing because they work pretty good. They're loose and things and, and they drive okay. So to start with, we start with the, a base of a four by one. And again, you don't need to use the four by ones. You could just print a whole bunch of the one by ones and, you know, just, just connect them all together, uh, you know, to make your, your four by one. If you want to just snap them on there until you get four by one, but I'm going to go ahead and use the four by one base because it gives me a more, a more solid base for that. And to start with, I need to put the Gatling gun on what is going to be the front of the truck there. So, cause this is our Gatlin truck. Now the wheels you'll notice when they go on, uh, they stick out a little bit, but they also cover up some of the, the wheels that are on the side. And I can put, snap this one in real fast, but you see how it's covering up that. So if I want to cover up this hole with a panel, one of those, you know, mini blocks that we have just to cover up little holes. We need to do it before we put the wheels on. So we're going to do that right now. So I've got this little gas can panel. It looks like a little gas can and I'm going to put it on here because it goes with the theme of, of a truck, I guess. And I've got another one here, but I got to grab, I got to grab a connector to put in there. Ooh, that snap. Yes. Okay. There we go. So we got our gas cans on there. Those are going to now be hidden away because we are going to put our wheels on just like that. And wheel on this side and wheel on this side. I already got connectors in those from a previous build. I don't always take the connectors out when I do that. I sometimes just leave them in because it's just easier. All right. So now at this point, we're going to use this. This is called a two to one connector because it has one on one side and two on the other side. And it just kind of figures out the middle, uh, which I think is is a very powerful piece, especially in a case like this. You see between the wheels, we've got a lot of space here. And if I were just building it up one or three, that would be a problem. But because of the two to one, I can kind of just snap it in here. And actually I'm going to use, oh, that's lucky because I want these two to go together like that. I'm going to use a two by one, or I could use two ones. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to snap it in right there. Perfect. And now that kind of just fits almost perfectly inside there. Okay. This is going to be the hood of our car. So I'm going to use these two pieces. So I have these, these pieces I kind of created to be like a hood shape. And there is a, a third one, uh, somewhere around here that you can either use independently. Um, boy, I can't find it in here, but trust me, it's in here somewhere. I know it is. Maybe you can see it. If you can spot Waldo in here, uh, let me know in the comments that you spotted it in there. But there's one that could either go between these or it can be independent. So you can use them however you want. In fact, I saw somebody use these recently because they have holes on both sides. It's just kind of a really interesting little 90 degree bend. And he put feet out the bottom. It was, it was cool. I'd never seen that before. But they don't have any snaps on the middle. So they just kind of have to, uh, both of them independently snap into the front of the truck here. That's okay. They don't need to be connected. That looks, I think that looks good enough. Okay. Now, next layer, we are going to go ahead. We're going to put the, the windshield on here, but the windshield, I'm going to just put the back of the windshield on right now to give us more things to connect on the top here. So I'm going to use both of the connectors. I don't have to, if I use a twofer, I could just use one of the connectors, but I'm going to go ahead and use them both. Put them on there, just like that. Now I put this on the top like that. And boom, we've got our... And now we've got some connectors that we can put on the top here, which I am going to do right now. So let's grab our radar dish, because we need to be able to communicate with, with the other uh, people in our fleet. So there we go, we got our our radar dish in place. And then I need, oh, I forgot to grab. I need another panel. Like it can be any kind of panel, but Hey, 
I like these X panels. That's that's pretty nice. So we're gonna go with that. And let's just snap that in place and put that on top here. Now off the side here, we're going to put both of these Gatling guns. So let's just grab our connectors and put one Gatling gun here and one Gatling gun here. There we go. Now, here's the question for the Gatlin truck. How does he open the doors? <laughs> he must get in somewhere else. Now, we've got these two here, which when I designed this, I, I have a smokestack that can go out the back here for kind of like steampunky smokestacky sort of thing. But the problem is, yeah, let's just say that theoretically, maybe somebody forgot to print those. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to fill it in with whatever we want. And I think I think this is the Gatlin truck. So I think I'm going to put some backwards facing uh, uh, Gatlin guns. So let me just really quickly, I'm going to grab one of these 45 degree bends or not 40, 90 degree bends. Uh, my connectors got stuck together. That's pretty cool. And we're going to put a connector on there. And then we're going to use my other forward facing Gatling gun. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. It already had a connector on there. So I have to pull out one of these connectors, but they're not hard to pull out. Okay, there we go, just like that. And if I put it right back here, there we go. Now we got a backwards facing Gatling gun and a forwards facing Gatling gun and our Gatling truck is ready to go out in the post-apocalyptic wasteland and lay waste to everybody. You know, I also have these two here, which the smokestacks kind of covered up, but they're not anymore. I wonder, hmm, okay, hold on for, oh, oh, I accidentally used a plasma cannon, not the Gatling cannon there, which is fine. We'll do that, and then what we'll do, let's see if I can do this. Uh, I'm gonna pull that off, cool. And we're going to put, there we go, there's my other Gatling cannon, so I got two of them right there. Uh, we're going to put those right back here. This is just fun now. Now we're just playing. We don't have any... any. Uh, we're going off script here, guys. But we can do that. So there we go. There's the back. You do not want to see the back of this of this cannon. But what are we going to put on the front here? Well, I got, I got a solution for that. Uh, somewhere in here. Here it is. Let's put a ripping chainsaw on the front of this truck. Oh yeah, you do not want to mess with this truck. It, it will get you close range, it will get you at long range, it will just mess you up. <laughs> so there we go. There's the Gatlin truck with the printer block set all made up. If you want to know more about printer block, all you have to do is go to printerblock.com and you can find out about the sets and the uh, what you can build with them. There will be sets and instructions and things like that. And uh, I hope that you'll check it out. I hope that you'll enjoy it. And if you like this video, then like this video, you know, the way you do. But if you have an idea of something that you would build with printer blocks, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I look forward to hearing from you. But as always, thank you very much for watching. And remember, safety first. I'll see you next time.